Hello, HMS, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm Dylan Andriola. Before we're off for April break and then a return to full time at HMS, we have a new segment for you, a movie review. Alina has seen Godzilla vs. King Kong. Let's see what she thought of it. There's been some buzz around school about Godzilla vs. Kong, and let me tell you how amazing it is. If I could, I would rate it as an 11 out of 10 and 6 out of 5 stars. It's an action sci-fi and might be rated PG-13, but that's only because of action violence. I mean, The Incredibles was rated PG because of action violence, so I wouldn't take that to heart. But make sure to watch that beginning credit scene if you haven't seen the previous movies. This movie also stars Millie Bobby Brown, who played Anola and Anola Holmes and Eleven in Stranger Things. It has super epic, exciting, and almost too realistic battles, but who will win? Spoiler, so over two years, but this movie is amazing. The rest is so bustin', I can't tell you, so that's all for now. If you see me around, make sure to tell me what you think. Sounds like she really liked it. Six out of five stars is a new one on me. Next, Mr. Parker has recently received a cool award, and I asked him about it. Could you first explain a little bit what um, the Westfield State University Movement Science Hall of Fame is? Movement science is a pretty broad term that covers uh, a lot of different degrees at Westfield State. It includes things like phys ed teachers, uh, adventure education, sports medicine, athletic trainers. How often are people selected for this achievement? It only started in 2019, so I'm really the second class of inductees into the Hall of Fame. And every year they have put a committee together and people are nominated. I was actually nominated by a teacher in Revere who I've worked with on a state board, and of the nine people who were nominated, six were elected in. What did you do to get selected? I've been teaching for over 25 years, and over that time, I've had the opportunity to work with a whole bunch of awesome teachers, including Ms. Pinto and Mrs. Santos, and we've done a lot of great things together. It's not always been just about me. I have worked on the state board where we helped to try to set some policy for phys ed across the state and across the nation. And in 2016, I was actually awarded the uh, Massachusetts Middle School Phys Ed Teacher of the Year. And does this inspire you to do different things here at HMS? I like to feel I'm always trying to find new things to do and, and give new experiences to the students. Thank you so much for the work that you do here and congratulations. We'd like to show you our appreciation for uh, this candy filled water bottle. Thank you very much, that's awesome. That's very impressive. Congrats, Mr. Parker. And now our last segment is a new Slang Weekly. Take it away, Lorelai and Milkshake. So welcome back to another episode of Slang Weekly with... Milkshake. And Lorelai. Our word this episode is cap, suggested by Ruchi D. Cap is a term meaning lie or you're not telling the truth. You can also say no cap, signifying you're not lying. For example, your friend could say, no cap, I saw a unicorn which would mean, I'm not lying, I totally just saw a unicorn. But you could respond, no, you didn't, that was just hard cap. Meaning, no, your friend didn't see a unicorn, it was just your horse David wearing a carrot on his head, like this. See you next time. See you all next time. If I saw a horse with a carrot on its forehead, I wouldn't have to cap. That's crazy just by itself. All right, time for birthdays. And buckle in, because with the break, it's going to be a long one. We made it. Happy birthday, all. And that's it. That's all we got for this week. We hope you like it. Visit hms.today where you can see more of our shows and fun puzzles from Alina. Send us the answer and maybe you'll win a prize. Stay safe, everyone, and see you after break. Bye. Mm -hmm.